Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well and I hope that you all have a beautiful month of May. So happy May. Um, today's reading is going to be for divine soulmate connections. We're going to be looking into the divine masculine's energy as well as the divine feminine's energy. And because we just had a new moon in Taurus with a solar eclipse, I really want to see what the effects of that is going to be on the collective, okay? Um, yeah, do keep in mind that this is general, so it's not going to be for everybody's situation. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And also, if you're interested in a cord cutting session with me, um, you can email me and I will send you everything that you need to know. Um, and I did actually make a post. It's on my community page. I think I made it like a couple of weeks ago, but it should be at the top because it's the last post I made. So there is a little bit of information there as well, okay? And if you have any other questions, please feel free to email me about that. So yeah, I think that is it. Let's get right into it. So let's see. All right, um, this is for the masculines. We have patience. All right, and the way I'm gonna be doing this, I kinda of wanna see what has been happening with the masculines, what's been going on, um, and then kind of see the progression as to what energies they're moving towards. Okay, so I feel like they, ooh, with the patience card here, I feel like there has not been much that has actually been happening, at least not much that you can see. Maybe the masculine has been patient. I actually feel like they have recently like gone into some kind of um, a remission of some sort, like having taken a step back or um, kind of just getting comfortable with their old patterns or just, you know, their old ways of being. So if they had been making some effort, um, it may feel like they have actually gone into some kind of a remission lately. And then we have blossoming. Okay, so yeah, this is them coming out of that again. It's like something was happening during that time. All right, so yes, it may have seemed like, you know, they're just not doing much. They're just, you know, kind of taking their sweet little time with everything, but something was working underneath that. And it's like, something is about to blossom. Something is about to come through. Let's get a couple more. Let's see, for the last ones, please. All right, and we have purge signs and commitment. Okay, so yeah, this is what has been happening. There's been some kind of purging um, that was happening during this um, remission, as I'm calling it, because that's just the word that's being given to me. Not only that, I'm getting that they're moving towards things just becoming a little bit more intense, things coming up to the surface to be purged. And whatever that is, it's going to give them a very clear sign towards where it is that they wanna have um, their commitment. Where is it that they wanna give their commitment to, okay? And of course, that is the divine feminine. So yeah, I feel like this is what is happening. They were in a remission. Um, I'm even getting that they're going to be triggered. There's a trigger that is coming up or they're already being triggered. Like that's already beginning to happen. So let's get into the tarot. Let's see, what is it that the masculines have been going through recently? Or even up until now, okay, time is relevant. So the times could be a little bit, you know, adjusted, okay, for everybody's situation. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and Justice. Okay, so, hmm. I'm definitely getting a lot of passive energy, okay? So this is what I've been talking about, going into some kind of a remission, especially with the hermit here being in reverse. This is them um, possibly just keeping to themselves, but not in such a positive way. Like I feel like a lot of it was possibly based in fear 
like I said, you know, just pretty much getting comfortable in their old ways and in whatever situation that they're finding themselves in, just not taking much action, just kind of even keeping their distance possibly from, from their feminine, okay, on some level. With the Four of Cups being in reverse, again, I feel like this is a lack of motivation, okay, that they have been in. So again, they fell back into some kind of a remission, some kind of lack of a motivation, just kind of keeping to themselves. But then we do have justice here to save the day. So again, it's like they're moving out of that. I feel like even throughout this time period, justice was working underneath the surface here pushing them in the right direction. It's like this was happening for some particular reason. And I do feel like it's related to what is coming up. Um, this is Spirit's way of saying, yes, this was meant to happen. It's like things were being processed during that time. I feel like during this time also, they're feeling very intensely that unhappiness that they have. So it's like, by going into the state, not being very active, not having that motivation, not being very driven, not moving forward, it's like they're sinking into that unhappiness so that they can become really aware of it. It's like, and I feel like I got this in a personal reading too, actually, very recently, um, and I'm getting it again, that when a masculine, or anybody for that matter, not necessarily a masculine energy, um, if, if we are on a scale from 1 to 10 in happiness and we're, let's say, at like a 5, we might not really do anything about it because it's like, it's okay, it's satisfactory. So sometimes what happens is the universe will make things happen in a way where that happiness needs to go down to a 0 or a 1 so that we can really feel it because that's when we'll actually eventually get the motivation to want to move it up to a 10. So I feel like that's what's happening with the masculines overall here. Um, yeah, that's why justice is here. So let's see, let's see the more current energy. What is the current energy, please? we have the knight of wands in reverse the chariot in reverse okay wow um kind of similar energies here this is a lot of frustration a lot of really not knowing where they're going see and this is the effect of what was just happening and i do feel like it's also the effect taking place from the new moon okay and the solar eclipse because it's really going to push us out of our comfort zone um this definitely also feels like a lack of action, okay, um, temporarily at the for the time being, but it's coming in also with a lot of frustration, a lot of, I don't know where I'm going, I don't know where I should be going, am I going up, am I going down, where the hell am I going? But that is a good thing, rather than just staying stuck in a stagnant and unhappy lifestyle. So at least there's this questioning, there's frustration around that. It's building up. Let's get one more here. And we have the lovers. <laughs> I love how in both of these rows, it's like we have two like negative energies and then it finishes off with like a positive energy. So this is exactly the message here again that this is moving them towards a more po positive outcome, at least the um, intention, right, that the universe has here for the masculines going through this is really, really positive in the end, right? So finishing it off here with the lovers, this frustration, this not knowing where they're going, it's because they're thinking about love in their life. They're thinking about the choices they have concerning love and concerning their divine feminine. Um, so what we'll do now before we get into 
<clears throat> what might be coming out. I actually want to see a little bit of their um, energy more specifically towards their feminine. So what they're thinking or feeling concerning their feminine. All right, and okay, so they all fell out upright. We have the Ten of Wands, <clears throat> the World, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> There's definitely some kind of a completion here. I feel like they're, they've been, whatever it is that they've been carrying, like a burden or a sense of responsibility even towards their feminine, because it is there somewhere in the back of their minds. Um, especially considering concerning the connection, okay? They do feel a sense of responsibility towards the connection, which oftentimes has been ignored or has been neglected, but it is still there. And that is a burden that, it's like they're feeling like there's a completion here of some sort, either concerning that or even just of their feminine. Um, we'll see, because we are gonna clarify. However, they are viewing the feminine as very, very desirable. They're seeing you as being very confident. Um, maybe even that you are going after your own goals or doing your own thing. They're also seeing you as very, very passionate. And <clears throat> this makes you very desirable to them. Now, if they have been trying to just end the connection with you, they're feeling tired in trying to do that. Let's see, let's clarify some of these. So let's clarify that top row. King of Swords in reverse and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So there's been a lot of, <clears throat> while they were in the remission or just kind of taking that step back, <laughs> really, you know, seeing that unhappiness, um, what's coming from that is not being able to handle it, feeling like they cannot cope, feeling like, you know, what it is that they've been doing is not working. And this is why, like I said, justice is here because that is, that was the point of that lesson. I feel like there was actually a lot of not really thinking or just blocking thoughts out and just taking that step back, like I said, getting comfortable in their old ways and just trying not to think much about it. Um, it does, it's interesting because it does feel like, you know, there may have even been a, a, a period here where it's like, yeah, there wasn't any progress being made at all. Like even within them, like they, it was not soul searching. Like they were just wasting, I almost want to say wasting time, but <laughs> there is really no such thing. Um, I know it can feel that way, but it's not like if... If it feels like it's wasting time, it's because, well, obviously something still needs to be worked on, something still needs to be healed, a lesson still needs to be learned. Um, but there was a stagnant time, and I feel like that, again, was meant to happen because that's how they will have the realization that time is being wasted. And I feel like that's also related to the Patience card, which was our very first card out for the Masculines. Um, kind of like just becoming more aware of time and how it's passing. And of the fact that they're that they have not made progress forward, right? Because um, then we have the Knight of Wands and the Chariot in their current energy. So I feel like that's their current realization. Let's see. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands and the Chariot. <laughs> the Two of Cups the Six of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Four of Wands. Yeah, so it's what's happening is because of that, they're, they're becoming more and more aware of the fact that they have not moved forward towards this connection, towards this Four of Wands, towards union, which is what they desire deep down, right? That is what they truly want. 
and feeling like they don't have that. Moving more towards realizing that, hey, you know, there's a choice here that needs to be made. There's a decision that needs to be made. This lack of movement has created a huge imbalance within them, which is, again, it's actually serving a higher purpose, that imbalance. It's because when we are imbalanced, that we seek balance. And so therefore, we can then achieve a higher level of balance than if we had just been somewhere in the middle. Like if we had had a satisfactory level of balance, we're just gonna stay there. They needed to get down to the rock bottom, to the lack of balance, so that they can feel uncomfortable enough to do something about it. So that is basically what is happening here. Um, and again, this is all revolving around love. So this is the realization. Um, again, because this is like the current energy, I feel like, you know, it's still not action towards that, but they're having the realization that this Two of Cups, this Lovers, Four of Wands, they had, don't have balance because there's a lack of that. They have moved actually in the opposite direction of love. They have moved in the opposite direction of what it is that they want. And I just had justice flipped, flip over again. So this is, to me, it's just confirmation that yes, what I'm saying, that is the message here. And that all of this is happening in order to bring them into balance so that they can find their balance. Okay, so let's clarify this last row. All right, we have the King of Cups and the Page of Swords. Let me get one more, one more clarifier, please. And Temperance in Reverse. Okay. They're definitely feeling this impatience for you. See, that's, that, it's like, this is like a progression of what they're moving towards. Feeling, they do feel like they have wasted time basically, towards having what they want. This is, um, let's, <clears throat> just to quickly remind you, this last row has to do with their thoughts and feelings towards you. So, there is this sense of wanting to end some kind of a cycle here, wanting to end some kind of, maybe a pattern, a chapter, whatever, and I feel like that has to do with the um, time wasting King of Cups, this is the love that they're feeling. And it's actually, this is this Ten of Wands, they're feeling tired. They're feeling tired of this whole situation, of their own selves, because they do feel this love. But they haven't fully closed out that cycle. There's something here also for a lot of them that they either want to talk to you about, they want to speak to you, communicate to you about something, but more so than anything else, I'm getting that this is interest, a lot of interest in what it is that is going on with you and feeling like, you know, you are just everything, even with the world, feeling like, you know what, this is what I want. The world is all about a successful ending. Um, or just reaching success, reaching that end goal. But it's like the masculines though, they're still this page. So yes, wanting to move in that direction, wanting to achieve that, but still being in the page's energy, but it is a step. It is that interest and being um, driven to want to explore this further. So, I feel like this is, this is going to be, um, or this is part of the effects of this new moon as well as just a lot of other things. It's not just the new moon and the solar eclipse, but this is a big part of it. Coming to this realization, time is passing. Something needs to close out here so that something new can begin, wanting to achieve that end goal. So let's... 
move on to the feminines and then we'll see what is coming up. So for the feminines, let's see. Okay, we have financial constraints. Okay, so this is, it's not necessarily only strictly about finances and money, although of course for some of you it could be. Um, this just has to do with practical 3D material world issues. Um, so some of you might be dealing with some practical issues in your daily life or just feeling even that maybe on a practical level, things feel really difficult with your masculine. All right, and we have number nine, assessing which is interesting because I feel like this is what we had for the masculines um, in the previous reading, either in the previous one or the one before that. It, yeah, it may have been um, the one concerning a karmic situation. And it's like, now we're getting it for the feminines. So the feminine is really assessing the situation either in your own life overall, um, when it comes to practical matters, like how are you going to progress either career-wise, financially, or just anything that is 3D material world. Um, for a lot of you, this might even have to do with, with love, but on a practical level, you know, like um, if you're single, what are you, you know, what are your options? Or if you are in, in another relationship, you know, what's going on with that? And there might, you might be feeling a little bit of restriction or just constrained or like things are just not wor really working out. And so it's like, you're really assessing the situation. And then for others of you, this has to do with your masculine, really assessing whether this is something that could practically work. Um, and maybe even having doubts about that, not only from the masculine side, but maybe even from your, your side for some of you, okay? Um, let's see. So we also have awakening, cycles, and mute. <clears throat> I feel like the feminines right now, you're awakening in terms of the cycles or patterns that you've been repeating over and over and over again. And I feel like that's why you're assessing. That, and this might be exactly what you are assessing. What cycles have you repeated? What patterns have you, you know, allowed yourself to repeat over and over and over again? And I feel like with the mute card, this is actually you pressing mute to that, like pressing pause, not, not even pause. You're just like, I don't want to do that anymore. So it's like you're breaking out from certain cycles or certain patterns that you were engaging in, in the past that may have not, you know, been working out for you. So let's see, let's just get a few tarot cards here for the feminines. So what has been going on with you recently? All right, and we have, <clears throat> okay, interesting that we have the Four of Cups in reverse for you as well. Um, okay, so Six of Pentacles, the Four of Cups in reverse, and the Lovers in reverse. So, okay, you have been giving your energy um, possibly in an imbalanced way towards this connection. I feel like, well, really what this is is you just giving more to this connection with your masculine than what you were receiving. And <clears throat> that, of course, you know, came with some disappointment here with the Four of Cups being in reverse. Um, and it feels like, you know, you're just, you felt like this connection is just not, not in that balance. And not only that, but almost pulling away. I feel like you pulled away as well. You pulled away from the masculine here. 
in some way because you were giving more than what you were than what you were receiving or what you did receive was disappointing. I feel like this is even like a letting go of waiting for, for a choice to happen here um, from the masculines. Let's see. Oh yeah. <clears throat> okay, so in your current energy here, we have the Eight of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. <clears throat> Page of Swords is in reverse. I feel like you're just more and more focused on your own self here. You're focused, again, on your environment, on your um, material world. You're focused on um, your finances, possibly, again, or on your work, on your career, or just on maybe even um, concerning, you know, where you're going to live or if you're going to move, just things like that, practical things. You're, you're really trying to figure out your own stability in your life. And I feel like you're, again, it feels like you're kind of pulling away in some way from your, from your masculine, whether that means that you're just giving less energy to them or you are not initiating a communication if you were doing that in the past just not showing as much interest. But I, I feel like what's important here is that I feel like you're actually doing that for your own self. You're not doing it as a means to an end. You're not trying to teach them a lesson. You're not trying to prove something to them. You're not trying to manipulate the situation by doing this. You're not trying to make the masculine miss you or you know any of that. I feel like you're actually doing this for you, really trying to find your own stability and looking out for your own self. And this is exactly why, you know, it's going to work when it comes to you actually reaching your goals for you. So let's just get one more row here for you. <clears throat> okay. Um, so for your thoughts and feelings towards your masculine, we have the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so there is something that you do feel like um, is keeping you attached to your masculine still. And again, that's okay because I feel like you are still moving forward, all right, with this Knight of Pentacles. It's like it's a gradual process and I feel like this is a progression actually moving from that Eight of Swords of being very attached, overanalyzing, overthinking, you know, feeling like there's just no way out of this and just feeling really trapped in this connection or in this situation. And it's like you're moving towards this Eight of Wands, which is a lot of movement forward in a positive, positive way. whatever that means for you. And it's going to be different for each of you because this is a general reading. Um, so yeah, I feel like the most important message here is that whatever you're doing, when it comes to um, detaching, all right, the lovers in reverse, or you know, just moving away from this, focusing on your own self, you're doing that for you. And that's actually a part of you breaking the old patterns, the old cycles. It's part of your awakening and it is moving you forward and that's happening really, really quickly. And that definitely is also, you know, one of the effects, again, from, from this new moon, it's very powerful. This is why I wanted to like include it in this reading because it's very, very powerful with this solar eclipse. And from what I've understood, it's um, something that is happening because I'm not an astrologer astrologer so I don't know exactly but there's something about all the combinations and the conjunctions and this new moon where it, it only happens every um, 19, 19 years something like that so yeah I feel like it's something big all right um, and this is like a turning point it feels like like a milestone for you, but also for the masculine. But each of you in like separate areas, like for you it's 
concerning focusing on you and what you're doing and it's like this new path is opening up for you and it's, again it's happening quickly and then for the masculines it's like really coming to realize what their life has been like and I feel like there's this major wake-up call concerning how much time has gone by and where they are in their lives as compared to where they would want to be Just had the two of swords fly out. So yeah, there's a conflict there. <laughs> That's exactly it. There's there's a contradiction there um, between where they where they are and where they would want to be. Exactly my point. Okay, so let's see what is coming up. What are they moving towards for the masculines? What are the effects on them of all of this? All right, and we have the, oh, it is three. Okay, I thought it was two, but it's actually, um, there were two together here, so it's three. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Yeah, okay, so Ace of Wands, taking action, coming out of that remission. Taking action towards passion, and in a passionate way, this is exactly, oh my gosh, like the opposite of what I said before about them having a lack of motivation. Well, the card that represents motivation the most, or one of the cards that represents it the most, is the Ace of Wands. It's that motivation coming back to move forward. Six of Swords, moving forward here, um, leaving whatever that past energy is, leaving that in the past. Seven of Wands in reverse, letting go of resistance, letting their guard down, allowing themselves to be vulnerable, not fighting against their intuition or where they're feeling guided. And that's why exactly we had the blossoming card and the signs that are moving them towards, towards commitment. So yeah, powerful effects here. Um, let's see for the feminines. Which of course, you know, um, whatever we get here, it's also guidance because if you're watching this video, it's usually feminines that are watching, you can control your outcome and affect it. So we will be taking this as guidance as well. Okay. So we have the King of Swords in reverse, the Six of Cups in reverse, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so this is what Spirit is saying that you can kind of, you know, just be wary of or just, you know, keep in the back of your mind. That it's easy to, even though you're moving forward, as I said, and everything, you know, you're, you're doing a really great job here. It's easy to just let emotions get to you or to let the past get to you, um, the nostalgia, like that can come back, right? Or maybe it's already there, maybe it never really went away. I don't think it ever really goes away. Um, but it can actually come in and kind of confuse you. And so the message here is, don't. it doesn't need to confuse you. It's there, and it's there because the connection is there and because no matter what happens, the connection will always be there. It doesn't mean you will always be in pain if you're feeling pain at the moment. It doesn't mean that you, you know, won't be happy. No, but the connection is the connection. Like that's just what it is. Don't try to overthink it. Don't try to rationalize your way out of what you feel, basically. Because that's what's going to end up confusing you. So, yeah. I feel like that is it. So let's get the final oracle messages for you if this resonated. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. Let me know in the comments what might be going on in your situation. I'm always interested to know. So let's see. Final message for those that this resonated for. Ooh. And we have regeneration and, no, this isn't the one that flipped over. I had one flip over it, which was soulmate. 
Um, but I feel like the most important message here is actually um, regeneration. It's like there's a regeneration happening actually within the connection, whether you are picking up on it or not. It doesn't matter. It might be visible, it might not be visible. And actually the other card, in case you were curious, is all that glitters. So all that glitters isn't gold, but this does talk about just things not always being obvious. Um, yeah, allow yourself to go through this regeneration phase, okay, that you are already going through. Allow that to happen. Um, don't let anything confuse you. You are on the right path. And I feel like, again, in turn, there's a regeneration also happening within the connection between you and the masculine on an energetic level. It's like cycles being broken, things kind of starting from a blank slate is actually what I'm getting. Energetically, in some way or another. All right, guys, that is it. Those were the messages for this time, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.